Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Mirchi FM, it's hot. Yana Vinaka and good morning, Fiji. In this bulletin, sing yet to pay defamation costs. Nasina woman faces fraud charge. A national plan to address domestic violence. From the studios of FBC Suva, Jackie Spade. The lawyer for Prime Minister of Rengen, Baini Marama, has sought leave to proceed with committal proceeding against lawyer and former politician Aman Ravindra Singh. Singh in July this year was ordered to pay the Prime Minister and Attorney General Ayaz Said Kayyum more than $149,000 in damages for defamation. The court found that Singh posted an unsubstantiated article titled Regime Dirty Politics on his Facebook page. Singh made unsubstantiated allegations on social media about them. And the May 2000 coup. Bainim Rama's lawyer, Devanesh Sharma, told the court there has been contempt of court order by the respondent since no money has been paid to date. Sharma has been given 14 days to file a notice of motion. The case will be called again on the 26th of this month. A 38-year-old woman alleged to have defrauded a company of over $89,000 appeared in the Nasinu Magistrate's Court yesterday. Angela Devi is charged with one count of obtaining financial advantage by deception and has been further remanded. It's alleged that between the 2nd and the 4th of October, Devi obtained vehicle parts belonging to Hybrid Auto Center by deception. Devi allegedly presented a fake check to the company amounting to $89,259 and took assorted parts, some of which were recovered by the Southern Division Task Force from a vacant house in Nandi. A second person brought in for alleged involvement was questioned and released. Devi is now represented by legal aid and will file a bail application today. The case of the Nausori bus driver who was allegedly beaten to death has been classified as murder. Police spokesperson Ananai Soro says three men are currently in remand for their alleged involvement when the case was first initially classified as assault. The victim passed away last week and investigators are now treating the case as murder. Police are requesting anyone with information in relation to this incident which occurred at the Nausori bus stand on the 3rd of October. Consultation will begin soon on a national action plan to address domestic violence. Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation, Mariseni Vuniwanga, says it's long been known that Fiji has one of the worst track records for domestic and gender-based violence. She says two out of three women have suffered some form of violence. Vuniwanga is optimistic a national action plan will make a measurable difference in preventing domestic violence. The minister is hoping all cross-sections of society will pitch in to formulate the national action action plan as domestic violence has reached worrying heights. Most of the programs that currently exist, it's uh, to do more with um, the secondary element of it, where what can you do after the violence has happened. So with a national action plan that we are embarking upon, it's an attempt to stop violence before it starts. Bogus real estate agents are taking advantage of desperations caused by COVID-19 to prey on vulnerable Fijians, including students. 50 complaints have been registered by the Consumer Council of Fiji, valued at over $205,000. These are against unlicensed agents since January this year. Chief Executive Seema Shandil says students who rent have also lost a lot of money students have not been spared as well. There have been some uh, bogus real estate agents who are taking students, you know, uh, in, in the pretense that they will be leased out a particular flat and they have been also, you know, made to pay not only the bond, it is bond plus the rent, and then they disappear. In many instances, the council have been able to assist the students. The Fiji National University School of Aviation is advocating for Pinktober, making sure students go through medical screening in the fight against cancer. It's an important month for the school as they raise funds that will go towards the Fiji Cancer Society. Philippe Nicasso has more. Raising awareness on Pinktober is vital for these students as they know the importance of early detection of cancer. Because just uh, two or three weeks ago, we had to say farewell to one of our staff, a lady, and she was married to our own dean at that time, eh? Akishi. Uh, she had uh, this uh, cancer. 
with the aviation school having more female students, it is only fitting that the school champions Pinktober. Being an engineering school, we have at least a, an average role of about four to five girls per class. And um, so um, it's, it's an ideal opportunity for us to create that awareness. So we have started that initiative today and I hope that this uh, initiative goes on. Students also went through a screening last week as they continue to stress the importance of early checkup. Last night, there was a $50 ticket dinner organized at our, our dining uh, restaurant, and the $50 was broken up. $20 goes to the, uh, went to the uh, cancer program. FNU is also holding a competition on the best decorated school with the Pinktober theme in order to raise funds. Philip and I, Caso, FBC News. Up ahead, Senator Rusi Servakula announced as Fijiana 15's coach and Lombasa targets Fiji Fat title. Hi, Bula. I'm Selai from Nandi. I love Gold FM, only the classic hits. Gold FM, only the classic hits. The Flying Fijian squad for the Autumn Nations Cup was announced yesterday. A notable inclusion is England-based Nemani Nandolo, who announced his retirement from international rugby with Fiji in January last year. Dale Matarakola reports. Back to with Fiji, so he was, uh, he, was, he was delighted to be, uh, to be considered. Um, obviously, we've got a young squad. We're, we're looking at 2023, the big picture, but obviously we need uh, those experience Eight new faces, including Neta Siriloa Chris Minimbi, former Natambua High School captain Kitty on Ekamikamida, the level halfback Simeon Ekurvoli, and Neta Siri Flyhalf, twin Raki Samusamu Bondre, have also been named in the squad. I think we've got a good balance in the, in the squad to, to do that. You know, to, obviously, these young kids coming through, the young kids coming through um, to be able to follow those guys that are going to lead from the front is very important. From that list, you probably noticed there are about nine players, and so that's just good news in, in, in some aspects for, for us to, to reward these players. So I think it's, it's a great uh, um, encouragement for future growth. In another major announcement, the Fiji Rugby Union confirmed Senirusi Servakula as the successful candidate for the Fijiana 15's coaching job. Servakula is expected to take up the coaching role, and the FRU says they are waiting confirmation from the former Fijian Drua coach after offering him the position. If Servakula accepts the offer, then he will take the Fijiana 15's to next year's Rugby World Cup. I am happy to confirm that we've offered the position of. Uh, Head coach for the Fijiana X uh, team uh, to Senior Rossi Serubakula. Um, we will await his, uh, his response to the offer that we've offered him this morning. Playing at home is much tougher than defending the court's IDC title. This is the view of Victoria's Lombasa football coach, Raniel Lal, after they won the IDC. Lal says the last tournament this year is the Fiji Fact, which they will host at Subrail Park in Lombasa. The Lombasa school teacher adds the pressure will be on them to deliver at their own backyard after claiming the IDC trophy. Well, there's another story. It's at home. So I think so. we have to work twice harder. And uh, I know everybody, with, uh, all the teams will be coming after Lombasa there. So home ground. So the preparation has to be good. Uh, have faith in these boys. Uh, then we'll work on that. start of another brand new day. It is Tuesday the 13th of October. Fine weather can be expected in most parts of the country, especially in the Western Division. However, cloudy periods with some showers can be expected over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Fine apart from afternoon or evening showers and isolated thunderstorms elsewhere. And that is your FBC Morning News. Join us at 1pm and 7pm for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about the 
COVID-19 on social media, fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC's TV, radio and digital media news. FBCnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Radio Fiji One, Nando Maiviti.